call me Ariana And none of these bitches ain't taking shit, I promise Put that on my mama, pull up on her, got her sweating like sauna Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing a makeup look for you guys and I am going to be going for a end of summer, starting of fall type of makeup look because I didn't do the summer transformation look. So I'm gonna do like the end of summer transitioning into fall type of makeup look. I did my eyebrows off camera already and if you guys want an eyebrow tutorial, I can do that for you guys as well. Just let me know in the comments down below. Let's just get started. The first thing I'm gonna be doing is priming my face using my LA Girl um, Pro Prep um, Primer. And I'm just gonna put this all over my face to fill in my pores because Lord knows I need it everywhere. While I'm letting the primer kind of sit on my face, I'm gonna work on my eyes because I don't know if there's gonna be a lot of fallout and I don't want it to get all over my foundation after I just did it. So I'm gonna do my eyes first. This palette I'm gonna be taking for today's eyeshadow look is the Revolution Chocolate Elixir palette. It's supposed to be just like the modern renaissance palette, but like the cheap version So the first shade that I'm gonna be dipping into is this one right here. It's like a It's like a brown, but it has like a little bit of a red undertone and My idea for this eyeshadow look is kind of red But like gold at the same time because you could wear like warm tones in the fall and in the summer Oh shit, I didn't even prime my eyes. What am I doing? First, I need to prime my eyelids, and I'm going to take the Too Faced Born This Way um, Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my eyelids, blend it out. I am just going to take my MAC Studio Fix um, powder and use that to set the concealer that I just put on my eyes, just real quick. Now we're gonna move on to eyeshadow. As I said, I'm gonna be taking this color right here and just blending that into my crease as my first transition shade. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit. Ooh. Don't stare too much at my acne. Please and thank you. Okay. Just putting this all up in the crease, slapping it on. Nothing too special. I like to get right up in here in my like socket, like right here. I just feel like it makes me look like my eyes are bigger because they're pretty small. So when I add the shadow there, it kind of like makes my eyes look like a little more sunken in. And I kind of like that look. So now that that color is placed on my eye, I am going to go into another shade from the palette. And take this one right here. Um, I would give you guys the names, but there is no names listed. And then this color, I'm just going to place directly on top of it, kind of lower down on my eyelid as well, though. Kind of gives it a smoked out effect, which I really like. I love smoky eyes. They're my favorite out of any type of eyeshadow look. Smoky eyes just, they're so pretty. I just love them. Any color of smoky eye. They could be a black smoky eye, brown smoky eye, red smoky eye, orange smoky eye. Any type of smokiness is calling my name. I think I'm just gonna do a gold like right here and then wing eyeliner is what I'm thinking just blend this out a little bit more so really the goal for this eyeshadow look is you just want to keep blending and making sure that the color is really vibrant and just smoked out for the glitter that I'm gonna put on my inner corner I am going to use my um, morphe pride palette I love this palette um, not just because it's the pride palette, but just because it has so many pretty colors like look at all these colors It's my first colorful palette that I bought so I'm a little bit obsessed with it But I'm gonna take this color right here 
um it's kind of like a top coat it's not too much of a pigment it's more like glitter glitter flex or whatever that's called this on my inner corner i haven't used this color before so i don't know if i'm going to like it for sure for sure so i might have to put another color on but let's just see oh no i do like it i actually really Ooh, do you guys see that okay no i really like that wow that's so pretty That is awesome. That's perfect. That's the exact color that I wanted. Okay. Just gonna take a little bit more and put it on this side. I kind of like it to be blended into my um, eyeshadow because I don't want it to look like I just slapped it on. I want it to look a little bit more seamless. You kind of just want to bring it up a little bit so that it looks a little bit more like you meant to put it there and not so kind of like just thrown on. Well, that is the eyeshadow. I am going to do a winged eyeliner now because we're transitioning into fall and I love some winged eyeliner. For eyeliner, I'm gonna take the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Very popular, you guys probably know about this already. And I am going to do my wing liner I'm hoping that this will be in frame but if it's not i'm really sorry so for my wing eyeliner i like to start in the center and go out and just draw a really thin line so that's what i'm gonna do you want to go on the outside and kind of like try to see where you're gonna want it like do you want it going straight up do you want it more elongated like it's up to you how you want to place your wing i like mine more elongated because my eyes are really small and i don't want them to be like up here like that you know i want them to look like longer like yeah okay you guys know what i'm saying i draw my line more straight is what i'm trying to say So there's one wing. Now I'm not gonna go all the way in the inner corner with this type of eyeliner. I'm gonna use a different liner later and I'll show you guys how I do that. The same thing for the other side. Okay, so my wings aren't exactly the same, but to be honest, I don't really care because it's gonna look more similar once everything is done. I know I look a little bit crazy right now. Now what you're gonna wanna do is take a regular pencil liner and you're going to want to tight line the top so that you can blend your eyeliner into your lash line better so you just really want to get in all the crevices now with the inner corner you're going to want to do it like this i don't know how to explain it but you could just watch And now I'm just going to go back in with a little bit more liner because I could see where I didn't get it at. And I'm just going to go fix all of that. Now you can see the difference between this eye and this eye. This eye kind of looks more like, if you know what I mean, like more, and then this eye kind of looks like there's something missing and like my eyes fucking deformed now for bottom eyeliner what i like to do instead of using a pencil is go in with a gel eyeliner um i just feel like it's more pigmented and more more like dark and heavy and i like that so i'm just going to use this for my bottom waterline kind of connect the bottom to the top there we go there's the eyes um i am going to finish doing my face and then go back to my eyes because i'm gonna add some more shadow on the bottom i need a sip of my coffee before it all freaking melts on me 
If you guys are wondering what I get, I get a venti iced coffee with soy milk, hazelnut, light ice. So, I don't know if you guys seen that. Moving on to the face. For today's look, I am going to be taking my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. But it is in the shade Almond. Take two pumps. I feel like two pumps should be enough for my whole face. I used to not like this foundation when I first got it. But now that I keep using it, I'm like, okay. It's actually pretty good. It's more natural though. It's really natural. So if you want like a heavier coverage, you have to use a lot of pumps. Or more than one pump. But if you like natural, this is pretty good. I'm getting my first facial ever on Monday. And I'm so excited because my skin needs help. I have a freaking pimple right in the middle of my eyebrow. That's cute. Where am I going to go today? Where am I going to make wear this makeup out in the world? I have a few other videos I need to film after this, so I'm going to do that. But what about after? It's still morning. It's like 11 o'clock. Taking whatever is left on my hand, I'm going to blend it down my neck a little because I'm multicolorial. <laughs> I swear, my face, my forehead, my forehead and my cheeks are two different shades. My nose is a different shade. My neck is a different shade. My arms are a different shade. I have too many colors going on. I'm going to take my dry beauty blender and kind of bounce it on the face to help blend. It into the skin a little bit nicer and more seamless honestly don't really like putting makeup on all the time because I get really discouraged about my skin like my skin's really not cute it's pimply and there's a whole bunch of bumps all over it and I just feel like oh I put makeup on like everybody's gonna know I have freaking acne anyways some days I just like having my makeup on like I feel better not not so much that I don't I don't feel good without it, but you know, it's just nice to do yourself up sometimes. I'm taking the same concealer that I used for my eyelids and I'm going to use the sponge. I'm actually going to spray it a little bit with some Urban Decay B6. I rarely ever use this and it's the only thing next to me. So I'm going to use it. bake under my eyes I'm gonna take the Maybelline fit me loose powder in the shade fair light or 10 this powder is actually really good I would recommend getting this powder I even wore it um, in the video where me and my cousin were doing we were doing our makeup and she was like what powder is that and then because she said it looked nice and she ended up going to buy it and she likes it too. For contour, I'm going to first use the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation Stick. And I use this in like every makeup video I've ever done. So y'all already know the drill. Just contour with this a little bit. Just because I like going lighter on the powder. Um, because my face is, you know, acne prone. And I feel like some powders just bring that out. So I'd rather go heavier on the creams. And I blend this into my hairline. A good amount kind of push back with the brush into my hair the contour foundation thing that I use actually like it really blends out really nicely smooth and like easy to blend and it's just like the perfect shade for a contour for me i'm gonna go in with more powder and i'm going to bake underneath i 
I'm just gonna take some powder, blend it into the sponge, and just quickly go over the rest of my face. I'm not really too worried about the rest of my face being baked. I just want it to be set. I take this brush from e.l.f. It's like a um, small tapered brush and just use this to wipe away the bake under my eyes because I don't want it to sit too long to where it gets like cracky because my skin is combination oily but I do have dry patches because of my eczema. Mm, I'm gonna wipe away this powder. For contour, I'm gonna take my Lorac Pro Contour Palette and I'm gonna dip into the medium contour shade right here. And I'm just gonna use another um, Morphe brush, but I'm gonna go in with a light hand since we already did contour with the cream. So this is just gonna kind of be like slapped on, like a bronzer kind of. This is more just to add like a little bit extra color. And I know it looks a little bit harsh, um, or I don't know if it does to you guys, but it looks a little bit harsh right now and like dark, but it's okay because um, when I put on blush, it will all kind of blend together. For blush today, I'm going to go in with this kind of corally, orangey, pinky shade and just use that for my blush. a little heavy accidentally I mean I do love blush but it went a little too heavy so I'm gonna take some um, more powder and use that to kind of fade it adding some powder on top it just tones it down a little bit for a highlight I'm gonna take my Tartiste Pro Glow palette the only palette that I ever use because it's the only palette that I ever have for highlights. I'm going to mix these two top shades right here. It is the shades Lit and Strobe. I'm going to take a little bit of the contour shade, the Tartiste Pro Glow Palette, and just brush it down the sides of my nose. I'm not really contouring, I'm kind of just trying to add a little bit of shadow so that it's not so blank compared to the rest of my face. And then it has a little bit of dimension. Now I'm going to go back to my under eyes and let me find that palette. I am going to take a um, packing brush, but it, it's so thin that I could use it to just like put the color down there. And I'm gonna go into the shade right here that I used and kind of just build that up on my lower lash line. Now I'm going to curl my lashes and put on some mascara, um, just a light coat because I'm going to be putting falsies on. Do I want to put falsies on? I kind of don't want to. I'm going to put mascara on, a good coat, and then I'll decide if I want to put them on. Just because they just take forever and then I'm going to end up having to take them off in a few hours because I already know that they're going to bug my eyes and I don't want to have to deal with all that. I just want to have my makeup on for the rest of the day, not looking like I just peeled some fake eyelashes off.
now that I finished putting on mascara, I'm just going to leave it like this. I do not feel like putting falsies on right now. And I am going to take the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips in the shade Coco Loco. So it's basically a brown lip liner. I'm going to take the NYX Matte Lipstick in the shade Stockholm. It's like an orangey kind of pinky shade. Um, I think it might go good with the brown. Oh. Yeah. Before the lip gloss on top, I'm going to use the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Tiramisu. So this is the makeup. I just need to spray my face and I am going to use the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I'm going to block my eyes. I also got this fan from the dollar store so if you have a dollar store next to you I would suggest going to check it out and see if they have one of these because it really does help um, fan down the spray and it just makes it dry faster. This is the makeup look. I am going to do my hair now and I'm probably going to speed through that but you guys will still be seeing how I do it. So I just finished curling my hair. Um, I just kind of did it loosely and like just like all over the place. Nothing too perfect. If you guys enjoyed my end of summer to beginning of fall transformation makeup look. If you guys have any other ideas you guys want to leave down below, just leave it in the comments. And just remember, I will be doing a giveaway when I hit 10K and I'll be giving away things to more than one person. So not just one person's going to win, probably like a few people. So if you guys want to help me get to 10K, I would really, really appreciate it. And I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.